that's the other bit. That's the uh, vertical column. Nice hefty looking piece of iron. It's a very quick inspection. It's covered in plenty of oil. Um, but we've just noticed that the um, dovetail has got uh, a fault on it there which has occurred before painting. It's painted red. And uh, yep, yeah, that's definitely damaged on that edge. I don't know where the um, head is going to be most of the time, but it does mean if it's up the top end, that's not going to be so good. Might have to see if I can get to replace this. And uh, the verticality of it is not going to be very accurately done. It's just got a cheap reply. But other than that, I don't think the back of it is just the back of a piece of cast iron, isn't it? Oh, that's spring loaded. Yes, that's a spring damper on the side. Yeah, okay, it's on video rather than still. Uh, it's on the scales, on my digital bathroom scales. That's 30.8 kilograms for the um, bed bit. Yeah, 11.4 kilograms for the column without any bits attached. Uh, 15.2 kilograms for the head. Right, we've weighed uh, the three main parts and it's 30.8, 11.4 and 15.2 kilograms. We'll tell you what the total of that is in a minute. <laughs> uh, there is, a, is an instruction manual that comes with it. it shows a general overall picture of the machine. Uh, some safety features like uh, be careful if you're lifting it. Uh, I'm looking to the right mains, the specification of the machine, um, again another picture of it, uh, but a picture showing the travel height, cross travel, longitudinal travel and the angular travel, uh, and the uh, T-slot sizes and T-nut sizes. A couple of items not put in, I think there were four T-nuts at one point. It's, that's reduced to two, and there's something else on there been scrubbed out, item number six. Uh, don't know what that was. Uh, uh, that'll be that up there, won't it? Whatever item number six was. 57, five, Adding those bits together, uh, less a few of the small bits that came in the toolbox, is 57.4, which is not far off its uh, spec in here. Which um, says gross weight 80, net weight 62 kilograms. Uh, not sure what gross weight means. Maybe that's just when it's in its packaging. Hmm, interesting, isn't it? Anyway, 62 kilograms is what its weight is, but it's not 80 kilograms in weight. Uh, so, just what you need to do to maintain it, i.e., Keep it clean and oiled. Picture of some lubrication points. Where you use lubricating oil and where you use lubricating grease. So grease uh, there, I think that's on the uh, feeding screws for each of the axes. And then oil on the sliding faces, basement and saddle face, saddle seat fuselage rear and connecting struts, the fuselage is the vertical column and fuselage and spindle box slide face. Uh, general parts of the machine. Uh, exploded diagrams of the parts, of course it comes assembled and the bit that I've not seen is the depth stop. Uh, that seems to be missing but uh, it's a minor thing. And then a part list for all the parts. Uh, and then how you insert and remove an MT3 taper, Morse 3 taper. Uh, how you adjust the travel. Uh, the fact that you can get some wear and might need to adjust that. It says mitre wedge adjustment. I think it means a jib strip. Uh, yeah, 
I think that is just the jib strips. Uh, and then some operations how you of how to do milling, but I've got a book on that. But nothing about how you assemble the three components safely, general safety instructions, and then electric diagrams. So nothing on the instructions about how you put it together. So hopefully if I get it right, then this video will tell you how to do it. <laughs> if I get it wrong, it'll be a video on how it doesn't go together. Right, first step is mounting the column, or fuselage as they call it, onto the base. And uh, that's reasonably well machined, but needs cleaning up. That's better machined. Uh, don't know if it's been scraped, but that's really quite rough in there. Uh, and one of the things to improve it is to actually scrape that so you get a better finish on there. Uh, I might assemble it and see how accurately it turns out first before I bother doing that. Not sure how important it is, but underneath the um, base there's some like paint resin or something. You see it squeezed up around the side that's stuck onto it, which is not easy to remove, but we're going to have to take it off, I think. Well, it's not very foil focused. But uh, just been chipping away at all that muck underneath it. That's created a right mess of stuff. Just an extra job didn't expect to do. Fairly obvious, I guess. Doesn't need to be in the instruction manual, but the column onto the bolt. There's a pin there which locks into a hole in that casting and then we can tighten up the um, nut on the washer with the movable wrench on there. I'm pretty sure getting the head onto the column, just a reminder of that chunk out of the column there before I put this on, which I'm going to be saying something about. Uh, because the jib strip, that thing, clearly needs to be in place at the time that we slide this down the column. See how far we get. 